Okay, when you work on this stuff and you come across and you see things, you can't help but uh, jump at the chance to get spare parts. So here's another Friday night box opening. This here was a bunch of, uh, it looks like VM changer parts. So have a look at what we purchased here. Some 1200 series VM platters. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it gives you a little more friction grip I suppose so this is for the 1200 series VM changers I got one there we got some knobs these are VM knobs these are like from a looks like a, G, a GE version of the VM They're always good to have I suppose you never have enough knobs Another VM style platter. That one has a little thinner edge than the other one does. This has a thinner lip than the other one. Hmm. And a third VM platter. Don't know where the rest of these ended up, but. And uh, this is the faceplate from a very nice VM. In fact, I have one of these somewhere without the speakers. Um, the speakers were, it was a portable, and the speakers fold out uh, for stereo and uh, also cover the changer when you're packed up. Uh, so I don't know if this what caught my eye here, but... I wish I could find the speakers for this changer because I don't have the speakers that cover the top and close the unit up. And there are some associated vacuum tubes. And that's about it. I believe these are 50, just the typical 50C5 and whatnot. 35W4. And there may even be a 12AX7 in there. I think I saw in a hint of a picture. I was able to read the numbers there. I'll open this up, take a look. Probably just some a 6X4 rectifier. 112 AX7 there, another 12 AX7 there, 6 AU6, and I believe it looks like a Westinghouse. 12 AX7 A. So there's about a half. There's about four 12 AX7s here. 6 X4 rectifier. The 50 EH5, and this tube here is quite sizable. 6CA4 rectifier. Is that a rectifier? 6CAS, that is a rectifier. So there you have it. Output tube, a couple preamp tubes, and uh, not a 35W4 to be found, huh? Okay. So that's that portion of the Friday night box opening. Okay, part two of the Friday night box opening was a uh, new old stock CRT from Video Display Corp. We uh, went ahead and got a 25VA XP22 rebuilt. Now, Video Display Corp, I believe, is still in business, but they only sell uh, projector lamps and uh, things of that nature. When I tried to inquire recently about a CRT, I was practically chased off the phone. And uh, so I think they're pretty much out of that business. Factories closed, whatnot. We do have our two year warranty card. Stone Mountain, Georgia. Two year limited warranty. So. Somewhere, and uh, somewhere, the, this CRT has been sitting around since about 
1983. There's the date code there. And it is a Delta gun. Electrically, it is compatible with the RCA we were trying to uh, get a CRT for, a 25V. However, uh, with some insight from another YouTuber, Radio TV Phono Nut, uh, he advised uh, that this may have the ears on it and uh, the RCAs do not. So sure enough, this does. And not that the, uh, the seller wouldn't take it back, but they were rather reluctant when I inquired about it, having the ears or not. Their customer service was not much of a of customer service. Anyway, here we have it. It's on with the straps. There's two metal banding straps that hold the ears on. We may try to use it with the ears or without, but the brackets for the RCA will not fit with those ears on there. I was uh, told to perhaps try a Dremel tool to cut the bands off, but again, that's that's really dangerous territory there, but uh, we may try that. So let's go on and uh, test this. nineteen eighty three so this tube has been sitting somewhere for thirty years so let's power this up and see what we get line voltage g2 at fifty and bring our heater up 6.3. The tube is lighting. I'm not sure if these were used in video game, console, uh, stand-up arcade machines or not. That would maybe be the only other use for these these tubes these days. I'm not going to give this a heck of a lot of warm-up time, but let's see if we can set cut off here. Of course, cut offsets very well. And we'll go for the test. There's our test. All three guns read very good. This can be like a baseline for other tubes, is where this reads. In the 80. It reads 80 here, but it, basically it's in the good. And it's still climbing. It's still climbing. So this tool would present a very good picture trouble is it's got the ears on it so I don't know what we're gonna do about that but there you have it the video display corp rebuilt picture tube Stone Mountain Georgia and like I say new old stock CRT we'll put to some good use around here hopefully in the future thanks for watching I'll try to upload all the videos here to uh, the YouTube site. I use a little SD micro SD card reader. I have a number of them. One of them is guilty of uh, causing data uh, data corruption because I lost some files back a while back, and I, I was attributing it to this one. I have one that w always works, and I should just stick with that. But I've gone ahead and bought a few adapters and and whatnot. But the latest one that was working pretty good started acting up here, so I broke it open and uh, the crazy thing doesn't even have the solder tab the tab soldered on it so we're gonna take care of that thing was all loose loosey goosey the connections there are still good but the thing was flopping all over the place ready to break off so we'll take care of that so we'll just add a little solder here to our our grounds this thing was also saying 
it wasn't USB 2 it can perform faster if you plug in USB slot 2 slot it was just starting to go bizarro so I don't know if these grounds are necessary it's just amazing how this stuff is made today One side of the ground. Now the pinout of a USB is 5 volts plus and minus, which is typically red and black, and the data is green and white on your standard 4 pin USB. I know we have no colors here. This is just a shielded, a ground shield. I think we should go ahead and touch up the the power and the data here anyway. Maybe this thing is broken. Maybe the board is fractured from it being loose like that. I, I haven't a clue, but we'll just go and hit it with some just hit it with some fresh solder here. And see if it performs as it used to. And there we have it. That should be a little tighter now in there. I may clean it, or I may not. I'll just snap it back in its little plastic case here and be done with it.